can be scary and sometimes hard Like you got a winning hand and then you dealt the wrong card It ain't fair But you're not alone When you're down and out and you're high and dry In the darkest valley or the coldest night You'll find you're not alone With a song A bubbling in your heart Big bad world all by yourself Cause it's better We do it together Yeah, it's bad, 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 bad. When we do it together yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello everybody Hello, everybody. It is the 100th episode of the Palaha Chautauqua. I am your host, Christopher Palaha. And you're live. We're live. What's going on? Sarah's here. Hi, Sarah. Anne is here. Hi, Anne. Um, we got everybody joining us today. I love it. We got a full house. Um, Sarah Drake is here. Hello. Denise is here. Hello. We got all sorts of people here. Bunty is here. Uh, Gail is here. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Lynn was the first one to join in. Dolly Brown was here. Uh, Dale is here. Bunty is here. Eileen is here. Brenda the Quiet is here. Um, who else we got here? Sherry's here. So many people. So many wonderful people. Hi. All right, guys. We've got, we have got so much to do on today's show. Um, but I do want to just say hello from Paris, France. Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Um, a, a hundred episodes ago, which was March of 2020, I went live on Instagram and this beautiful thing started, the Palaha Chautauqua. And there have been so many shows that um, there's almost like it, it would be worth doing like a, a reminiscence show or like a best of. But I will say that one of my best favorite shows and favorite memories of the shows, uh, and maybe you guys can actually find her name and, and, and remind me of who, what her name is. But there was a young lady who was hit by a drunk driver and she lost her leg from her knee south, south of her knee. And it was the episode on forgiveness. And that was the moment for me when the Palaha Chautauqua became something bigger than anything that I had planned for it or anything bigger than me, um, where I was like, okay, this is something special. And this is, this is not in my control. This is something uh, really supernatural. Was it Hannah? It might have been. Um, and it was really just this amazing conversation about how she has to forgive this person daily, how forgiveness was like an everyday event. But I'll never forget that semester on, on studying the fruits of the spirit um, and really looking at what wisdom and peace and joy and goodness and kindness and self-control and love uh, really means as verbs and as nouns. And that was the year that this community really became knitted together. Uh, Bible studies started going. They, there was an anxiety group that started meeting. Um, so many people started doing stuff off uh, the Sunday live that it just started to take on this life. And really, if I were a pastor, 
it would have been the beginning of a really healthy church is what it was it was something it was that it was that thick of a community and continues to be to this day and i'm so amazed that a hundred episodes later and that's me taking off time at christmas time and all summers for those last three years so it's not every Sunday all year long, otherwise we would have surpassed this milestone a while ago. But and a few have been taken down. So um, once everything is is sort of pushed and, and, and counted for and measured and weighed, it's it's a hundred episodes today. Uh, and for the hundredth episode, we're re- we're ending our ten and seven challenge. Um, we didn't meet the ten thousand book challenge. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, we didn't even come close. However, that doesn't really bother me. What what I wanted to do is push the needle with Amazon. I wanted to push the needle with IPG. And I wanted to show our, produ- our, our, our publishers that there was enough... Um, when, when the button was pushed, there was enough interest to kind of push things out and forward. And you guys 100% did that. Um, we did achieve a thousand, a thousand plus books sold. Um... And so many people are entered into this competition. Look at me, like literally cutting names out with a little paper cutter last night, all hand done. This is a great, my dad is with me right now. And he said, is this normal? Uh, is this what people do? And I said, no. And he's like, that's, that's special. That's really cool. Um, and we've got the prizes in check. Look at there. I got photographs of myself, which I'll sign. Um, there is the, uh, the script of the actual movie that we're gonna make that I spray painted. So you're gonna have the script, um, which is a really cool sort of, that'll be a really cool collector's item at some point. Um, And then there's the artwork. And the artwork is, again, there's a map at the back of the book and this is one of the drafts, so it's original hand-drawn. This is a map of Kauai, signed by me, spray-painted in Technicolors. And then, um, yeah, there was some, some help. There were some people that helped me, so I made a few extra, um, which are all, these are the only originals that I have, so all of my little drafts. And then I made one for my wife, and of course I gave one to Gail, for all the work that she's done on my website. And uh, and that was it, tapped out of those. But um, really special for, for, and I wanted to give one away. So one's being given away for the prize. So that's entering in the drawing today. Um, so let's, let's get on with it, shall we? Let's get on with the show. Um, I'm gonna bring somebody on. Um, just give me a second. The woman who got this ball all started in the first place with me. The one, the only. The incomparable Hi. Anna Gomez. Hello. Look what I've got. I've got this. I've got this. <laughs> and I've got this. That's so nice. Thank you. Um, we're gonna we're gonna talk about all of it real quick. But um, we never had a chance to. We never no. did this for Where the Sun Rises. We never jumped on this show and we never yeah. had a conversation yeah. about this book. And I, feel like, and I feel like it's only right to yeah, unpack this book before we, we launch yeah. this next book into the um, world. But I, I, yeah, so I just wanted to jump in here and say thank you everyone for all their support and for all the participation in your challenge. Um, life just got so busy. So, you know, we're trying to catch up kind of, (laughs) but thank you everybody for all the support, everything that you've done. Um, We never had this um, for sunrises. So it's, it's, uh, it's about time. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's long overdue, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to shut the comments up just for a second, guys. 
Um, but we're going to open up comments at the end of this here in a minute. We'll ask questions. We'll do the whole thing. So, okay. First things first, we all know how this book got born. This was you inviting me into a journey and you were like, come write this book with me. And then we both, we both sort of had this experience, which, yeah. which was really seamless and almost too easy. Like everything happened for moments. Like it was like super lubricated. The whole process was like, Pow! and all of a sudden we had this book and it sold. I mean, we're talking like 12,000 copies in the first month, which is a huge deal for, for, for booksellers. And like, this was like the baby. And then you and I were like, I think, and what was the decision? And let's talk about it because I think you and I thought that both, I think both of us thought that moments while it was a really good book that we were like, we could do not better, but we could go a little deeper or we could go like, let's just start to take this series and go into new territory with it. And so that's kind of where the genesis of this yeah, idea think, came um, from. Do you want to speak onto that, that at all? That was the plan that moments would kind of bring everybody together, kind of. It was during COVID, do you have to bring that up? Because really, when we were writing Sunrise, COVID, we were coming out of COVID and life was just getting back to normal, which is also a challenge for both of us. Because then you started going on shoots and, you know, I was traveling for work. So I think, um, that's probably the number one reason why moments were so seamless, but we always had the plan of introducing everyone in moments and then taking it further and deeper, you know, making it more meaningful as the characters evolved. So that was always the plan. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that we accomplished that with where the sun rises. I think when you read the book, um, it is a romance and you do fall in love as these people fall in love but you're dealing with themes that are a lot deeper and a lot more fleshed out throughout the course of the book, like moments, which was a frothy kind of jaunt dealt with a little bit of lack of truth telling and a little bit of hidden identity, but it was really about moment to moment living in the moment. So you're writing a book about being totally present and being in the moment and not talking about your past and not thinking about the future. And then when all of that comes colliding forward and it was really done, specifically for like yeah. our intention was to turn this into a hallmark movie like that was like the original goal was you know what let's own something from page all the way to screen and we'll, we'll pump this out and turn this into a hallmark movie look at these split and then as we were kind of going through the process we thought like well wouldn't it be interesting if we could take our time and maybe break away from the nine act structure and maybe tell a story that's a little more complicated or a little more thematically adult or which is you know where adam and his struggles are born and then melee who you know broke her neck yeah. and was afraid to get back into the water and I'm you know like so proud some of that pretty book. big I mean, stuff now that you're talking we haven't talked about it really in front of everyone the way that we're doing now which we did with events we did it a lot we, no. we just kept talking about moments we were going on. i know we talked about moments all the time you and i did like a yeah. tour and it was all virtual and so this tour and the book tours are very different because yeah. we met in, in LA twice, once in Long Beach and then once in at the Grove. And that was more of a show. It was like, we met in the green room. We had a really brief, you and I yeah. didn't like even have a chance to talk privately in Long Beach. We just literally met in front of a bunch of people yeah. for the first time in our lives, person to person. Um, and then, you know, like at the Grove, there's all this energy as if you're going on stage to perform. And um, it wasn't like, like we got to really sit down because we were we were hyper aware of people's time. Yeah. The fact that they came out in the rain to meet us at the Grove and even the other one in Long Beach was like, it was raining that day. And so it's like, you, you I was hyper aware of the fact that people took a long time to come see us. And we had said, this is gonna go from seven to 8.30 or whatever it was, it was a really finite amount of time and I wanted to respect that. Whereas with Zoom, people had a chance to just jump in and sit and they could tune in when they wanted, they could tune up. And it was like, yeah, it's easy. You just jump yeah, off like I this, was, this I is easy. I was really happy though that the one in the Grove, I have to say, was kind of your mini reunion too with your old, you know, castmates, right? You know, I yeah, was happy yeah. to get back and yeah, like yeah, unexpected just, showed up. Happy and a lot of time with your friends and stuff. So. I mean, I think, you know, I think we, we didn't talk about this book enough, like what it meant to us and how we, it really came to be, 
which we did for moments, right? Yeah. Um, but I mean, I think it's self-explanatory. I'm so proud of this book. I am so proud. Well, how did it come to be? Actually, we had starts and stops with this book, if you remember. We would be on the phone going, mm, I don't know, like I can't move forward. I, I, I don't know. Remember, we were like, like, how do we do this? Right? So we had the first three chap. Mm -hmm. I sent you the first three chapters and you were like, whoa, this sounds so different, right? And then you went in and we started alternating chapters. So you were adding to those. And we had a couple of stops and starts because we were like, mm, I don't know, like what, what is the theme? What is this and what is that? And um, again, we, talk, we did talk and very consciously decide that we would make it very difficult moments in terms of, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah and, and then tone um, right yeah and energy like yeah. energy it's yeah. a different it's got it a does. different energy and we talked to about it. like what we were willing to do in terms of you know how not not graphic is not the word but how descriptive we wanted to be and then how we wanted the two main characters to act have their moment of you know um kind of introspection right and it was different they they both had issues let's put it that way um yeah well, what I loved was that you and I were kind of warming up with all of those chapters leading up to the wedding. And so we had, we had Adam and so do you remember, there was a little thing we started with um, Warren and Andy in Chicago. And, and Warren comes out of the steamy shower. And I was like, well, let's and so we were like a sex scene between them. It was like a pre like, a, like the pre the prelude. And then, um, and then I remember right off the bat our publisher was like you know you can't we're spending too much time because i remember wanting it to be like warren handing off the ball to adam and so there was going to be there was like all those chapters were going to be warren's perspective of adam and then at the wedding yeah. it was going to switch to adam's pov i remember that and so all of that los angeles stuff and we started in chicago and we saw andy and warren yeah. and then they went their separate ways and we had two weeks before the wedding and so and in that writing there was all this kind of warm up on who these two characters were. And we weren't really worried about their right, relationship right. until we got yeah. to the wedding. And then I remember all, all these things started to like, as we were writing the discovery of them knowing each other in high school or him seeing her in high school. And then all of a sudden she was like, well, I saw him on the beach. And so all of this stuff started to unfold yeah. as we were writing. And never really planned said, for it, which I thought was taking too long for them to get. And, and right. You know, and right. Warren and, um, oh my God, Andy. <laughs> Andy, God. Warren and Andy. Yeah, they were like, get rid of Warren and Andy. Yeah. Get, get them out of the way. And let's introduce uh, Adam and Melee sooner, which uh, about a year ago, like literally a year ago today, we were doing the rewrites of the timeline. So we took all of the wedding stuff, put that on day one, and then went back in time. So like, the uh, part two, what, how, what did we end up titling it? Um, which I like. Part I forget. Part I don't remember. I'm, 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 I'm in part the book. Part two is, where is part two? Oh, right here. So part two, looking back, and we have it like yeah. exactly 14 days ago. So if it's like, if you were in a movie, You'd have this, you'd have the wedding and then all of a sudden it goes Kick, and then we cut back to, and then exactly 14 days ago. And then that's where we put the, which was originally the beginning of the book. So it was all chronological. And then we, in the last minute switched it. And remember there was, um, how many, how many passes did our editor take? Like, wasn't it like three, did yeah. we run, run it through like I mean, three I different think we times? I learned a like, lot um, during this process. The first one was so easy. No, again, I have to bring yeah. up COVID because yeah. we were so focused on the first one. We, like, we had all the focus that we had. And the second one, we were both kind of moving back and forth. Um, we learned a lot, didn't we? Like, it was like writing school, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and also, I mean, I think a lot of this, you know, this book, I was just very dutifully submitting, you know, chapters. <laughs> yeah. And so this one was me being like, here's a chapter. And then you pasted it into the play. I mean, you built this book based on the chapters you were writing and the chapters I was submitting to you. And then this book was very much this 
I would write a chapter, send it to you, you would get inspired, you would write a chapter, send it back to me. And it really was, we had this thing, we were playing t a chapter tennis. And I think all but, I think there were three chapters that you did, and then three chapters that I did. And then of course the parts, uh, Melee's part and Adam's part were written independent because yeah. I think we needed we, to just ja jam on. So, we were like, all right, we yeah, have, let's, 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 so let's dig in. Right. Part, I do my part, so it yeah. worked out. It yeah. worked out. It's a it's a beautiful uh, book and a beautiful story. Yeah. Well, the things that I hear about it, um, you know, we have the greatest readers in the world, and we have such a loyal fan base, and I love hearing from them. and And the reviews have been yeah. unbelievable on Amazon and Apple. Like they're really wonderful reviews for this book. Um, and the people that have read it have been really moved by it. They're like, this is, it's a surprising book. Um, and I think when people give it a chance, it's really, yeah. again, it's just about yeah. word of mouth and it's about building it that. It hasn't been out a year yet, so a long way to go. You I know. know. So, I know. Yeah. Um, do we even talk Maybe about book three at this I was point? Do we even mention again, book three? So, um, yeah, why don't you start? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I know that I know that it's it's being written. Like we've got a bunch of words written down already. And uh, how far? How like? Um, how far I went off tangent. Actually, you know that I started writing, and I'm just gonna. I, I don't think I'm giving anything away, but I'm writing a part where um, you already glossed over it, um, but I'm putting more detail into it. It was the part when she was. Yeah, I can't really say, but um, so I think I have to kind of pivot. But I want everyone to know. That Chris has written thirty-five thousand words. Thirty-five thousand words, and yeah, he's waiting on me to kind of close it up. And I. But here's what here's what here's what, and, and this is like this is the caveat for that. It's so specific because we're jumping through time, that one of us had to set the timeline down because it would have been too confusing. Literally, we're jumping through, and it's not. And so it's not like it wouldn't have been as easy as this this book takes place in a year this book takes place in a year it's very clear christmas is the benchmark valentine's is a benchmark summer same thing with this the the, the book that we're writing now it literally yeah. is a 70 year span and so we're jumping all through this timeline and so what i want to do one of us had to just Put the timeline down but like you said i glossed over a lot knowing that you and, and i would go in later yeah. specific yeah. you would go in yeah and create details and yeah like, and, really and show and there's a lot tell. of showing actually you wrote beautifully i have to tell you and your fans that you it, it's amazing i reread it this afternoon because i was trying to i was trying to find the age and i was trying to look at what you know the chronological order um and then i said you know it's good. I'm just gonna just keep going, and then I'll send it to you. Figure out your things, but you, yeah. your knowledge of history and the, the historical part of it, and I mean, and your writing. I mean, it. I read it again today, and I have to tell you, it, it's amazing. It's like I don't want to get rid of any of it, so I'm trying to insert myself. <laughs> trying to insert <laughs> Love that. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Um, speaking about writing stuff, all on your own. Yeah. Bum, ba yeah. You've yes, got a new I one do. coming out, don't um, you? Which is super exciting, called My Goodbye Girl, um, Anna Gomez. Yeah. That's kind yeah. of amazing. I feel like your name's like oh. a little lonely. I kind of miss my name there. I mean, people have to know. I mean, we have talked. <laughs> All this we're kind of suffering from the draws of our partnership right because we were so intensely yeah. Yeah. like working on these two books and then all of a sudden we kind of step away but you know that's how life is and yeah. well i think what people have to understand is that when we're collaborating um the only way and book three is i think the timing of it suffering a bit from our lack of of communication yeah. because book one and book two we were so proactively like every week like hey what's going on what's going on and i think the accountability of like i wrote a chapter now i'm waiting for yours and chunking it out by like 
15 to 2,000 words a chapter, because that's really what it is. It equates to about 15 to 2,000 words. And this one is like, okay, here, and then you've got the ball, and I'm trying to give you your space and not be like, hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going you on? Hey, what's going on? But at the same time, there, there's something, there's something about that accountability that kept both of us like, oh, I, I have a chapter yeah. due this week. I have like, Anna's waiting for my chapter. I got to write this thing, and it became a priority. And I think because the relationship was there because the books became a priority we became a priority so like all of a sudden we like ranked up and and it has been this weird thing where i've filmed three movies in a row you've been busy with work a lot of personal stuff and there's just been this kind of there's been some yeah. a little bit of space between us um which is yeah it's very different it's you know and i think both of us are coming off of the COVID and the pandemic and all of the, you know, all of that energy. And it almost feels like this wave has crashed. And now we're trying to figure out, okay, now what's the next wave and what is the room that we're making? Um, but I do, uh, I do feel really good about where book three is going. And I love the fact that book two, you know, for people who've been so fervently supportive of this, of this book, and I've got people who are buying like 20 copies. I mean, it's insane. Like, they're so generous and they're giving them away to friends and they're putting them in libraries. And of course, you saw Gail, who's gone on both tours now. She went on Oahu and did moments and then she went to Kauai and did all the tour in Kauai. So we've got people who are reading this book and loving the world so intensely um, that they're making these things a priority well, as far as getting gifts. Everyone to be excited for book three because uh, it's going to come out. And you know, I just, I just, I want that momentum back. I think we took a little step back because life just got really, really crazy. You know, yeah. I think we should address, I think it's okay to address. I thought that going it from the publicity route as an actor and knowing that there was the Christmas movie and on the tail end of Jurassic and, my, and being like, why don't we hire my publicist to sell the book? And I think that what we did was we ignored like the book sort of, there was a woman named Meryl who helped us with moments like this. And she had access to the book world and the book trip and to the readership. And I think that there's a big market difference. Like sure, we got some really splashy fun publicity for moments, but I think where we missed out on was like speaking to readers and going into, to, you know, like, talking to other authors and, and really coming at it from a book perspective, which was a huge lesson I mean, that I had to learn. I'm really not in that world because I have a main gig and so do you. So we're both trying to get into that other side of our, of our lives, right? Which is the writing world. And so it was, it's new to me too, in that sense where um, we do have to connect with, with readers. We have to connect with readers. And when we did our publicity tour, we probably could have done a couple more um you know yeah and i think we were planning I, to in I january fell and, and broke again, my knee. just got like <laughs> it was my <laughs> <laughs> yeah you you broke your knee i yeah. ended up working like back-to-back -back gigs and i mean could have done stuff independently but again both of us i think we're not interested in like you know like uh, westlake village barnes and nobles i was like i mean i could do a thing but it's not fun without anna like it's it's you know we're a team and it's nice to do, to do those things together um this is already number one on amazon's asian authorship bestseller list you've already hit number one which is incredible so if you haven't bought this or pre-ordered this the book comes out no. yesterday two days Tuesday. ago when, when does it hit Tuesday. when does it debut yes this tuesday oh my gosh okay i thought it was june 1st it's not so what yeah, date tuesday. what is the date on tuesday the sixth. this is a tuesday the sixth yeah okay so june 6th that's awesome and you've already hit you've already like you're already raking in for us lists <laughs> it's good what's good for the goose is good so, for the gander <laughs> um, can i say all nice ships rise with the tide, about right? Book three and book two before I know you have to do your raffle and everything, but I wanted to pay tribute to our friend Javier. Oh. We're writing um, book three yeah. for him.
And Here we are. It's also been, I yeah. think it's also been one of the reasons why we've just been a little more quiet from our end. It's, we're still processing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been very sad. Very sad. Um, for those of you who don't know, Javier La Fianza uh, was our friend and my neighbor and introduced Anna and I together um, in March of 2020. And we jumped on a Zoom call and I think pretty quickly after, or was it May? I always, I think it was May of 2020 and it was May. And within the month, um, had contracts signed and literally a month later, I had the pages that she'd written for moments. And a month after that, we began writing together. So it all started and it all happened because Javier was like a connector of people. And that's what he did, I think, for a living. He would bring people who had a lot of money together with foundations who were looking for people who had a lot of money. And he, he brought a lot of, he was a connector of souls um, and never wanted anything for himself, which I loved. It was so interesting because he was like, I've got this amazing person that you should meet and I'm going to put you two together. And you and I were both, I was, I, I, just stepped off the board this week, but we were both on the board of the Jensen Project, which is an amazing foundation. My two years is up, and so it's a natural a natural progression for me. But um, it's an amazing foundation that's doing incredible things to end human trafficking and the sex traffic pro crisis in America. And they, it's a grant foundation, and so they give grants to different smaller non-for-profits that are yeah. doing incredible work throughout the country. And that was Javier's doing as well. So he was he a really together. special person that he's and missed. Tell me when you were home. Yeah. From shooting, I'd be like, "Is Chris home yet?" <laughs> because I called him. Like, yeah, I saw him. <laughs> no, you knew because you and I were always talking. When, like, <laughs> I can, like, you know what? One thing I have to say: when we were writing together, I knew we shared our calendars, so I knew like our schedule. But that kind of like went away, like when we started getting really busy. So I would say, hey, have you seen Chris? Is he home? Yeah, I saw him. I saw him walk. I saw him in the car. I'm like, yeah. okay. You know, so <laughs> he's, he's been a yeah. part of our, of our friendship and, you know, our relationship. And, and he will be really greatly missed. And I just wanted to kind of honor him because he's our friend. Yeah. Yeah. No, he, um, yeah, the book will be dedicated to Javier. Um, yeah, it's so sad. Um, did he ever make it? Is he a he character is. in one of the books yet? He's he he's in. He is. He's in. He the, he's in three. Ah. Oh. Oh. And he never okay. had a chance to okay, we'll give read it. To it. Anne. yeah. Anne's gonna read it. His kids yeah. will love it. Ah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He's a cool, cool character in this book too. Uh, um. All right. Well, there's a raffle. I'm going to do a little raffle. Do you want me to People stay on? Prizes. Or you want me to leave? Okay. Yeah, you can stay on. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn the comments back on, okay? So turn on commenting. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to add a moderator to my live video. Wait, hold on. What's it say? Why can't it? Oh, there's. Add. Add. I don't know why it won't let me add you, but I, I was going to add you. Um, Do you want me to get out so you can add someone? No, I was going to add you as a moderator so you could like, you know, but it's okay. You can uh, still comment just... or whatever you want to do. Okay. All right, you guys, are you ready for this? We are beginning the drawing for the 10 and 7 challenge um literally like a thousand books were moved it was a it was a really impressive thing um we've got 41 entries for where the sun rises bundle we've got 52 entries for the mystery 101 bundle we've got 54 entries for the moments like this bundle uh, we got 65 entries for the shift bundle. We've got 77 entries for a Chris bundle, which I think is a sign thing and maybe the script. And then the artwork, we got 107 entries. Um, 
So we've got, um, and I want to say thank you to Brenda and Kelly and Stephanie for doing all of the grunt work. You ladies have been unbelievable. And it's, they do this like for, like for free out of the kindness of their hearts for us. Um, they are the most amazing, amazing, diligent. I will use the word workers because to me being a worker is uh, one of the highest honors I can pay to someone. I like, I love people who do the work and I consider myself a hard worker. And so when I meet people who do hard work and doing it for the love of, of, of what it is they're doing it in this case, it's, it's, it's Anna and I and our books and for me, and like, it really is a huge honor. And so that's why I wanted to, to honor them with a little artwork. You've got something original, don't you, Anna? And you I got I you, I, the little uh, surfboard. You, you've got like, really? that was a one out of one, by the way. That was the only one of those I made. Yeah. And you've got that, like you had that back in last Christmas. What was it? Last, gave that last to me. Year. It's on my wall. So I was going to take it off. But I didn't. Let's... Yeah, I don't blame you for not taking it off your wall. Okay, guys, let's get on with the show. Um, okay, Anna, okay. you give me a drum roll. And well, hold on, let me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring on um, Kelly. You can stay on Anna. I'm going to bring on Kelly uh and she can kind of help through she can help us through this whole thing okay kelly i'm bringing you on you're gonna come on with anna and i <laughs> hi hello kelly. there you are doing fine how are you, how are you? good kelly i met her in anna, chicago anna and how is it that signing <laughs> Yeah, you guys have already met. Okay, I'm gonna start okay. drawing names, and we're gonna start doing this thing. We're gonna start announcing okay. winners, and if at any point you want to interject and help me establish the rules or the law of the land, please do so. But without any further ado, I'm gonna pick the first winner, and this is for the okay. ship bundle. Okay, and I'm not working. I'm just going to pull a name out. And the name is... Yeah. Okay, I got a blank. <laughs> Some of these are blank, and this one's blank. So, of course, the first one's blank. Um, okay, the name is... Watch, it's going to be blank again. No, it's not. All right, you guys, you ready? Um, for the, the shift bundle, the winner is Ashley Tertocha. Ashley, it's all I know it's backwards, but Ashley, T-E-R-T-O-C-H-A. Yeah. So congratulations, <laughs> Ashley. You are the winner of the what ship bundle. I'm going to put this here. The ship, the ship bundle is Kelly? the empty tomb necklace. That's the main item um, that I think Brock himself designed, correct? I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah and it's also got a shift t-shirt that Aiden um, donated and she's hoping to have you sign it next week in a uh, Christmas con so those are the main things of course yeah and that's what I'll do I'm gonna yeah. bring everything to Christmas con and we can like hand out gifts there yeah we'll to those are, I mean if some of the winners uh, are and, at Christmas con we can give them to them there if others will we'll mail them all to them so okay all right, guys, we're moving on to the moments like this bundle. Is there a bundle? Like, I'm going to save the artwork for last, but you tell me if there's another. No, definitely save art for last. That right, was the big it, one. Mix, okay, we're, really, we're mixing it up. We're getting it going. I've got my fingers on a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, Carrie Brown. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Carrie Brown won the moments like this bundle. How about that? That's fun. Um, okay. We're going to jump straight to the, let's do the Mystery 101 bundle. How about that? Okay, here it is, guys. Here it is. I'm going to shake them up. <laughs> How crazy is this, Anna? I mean, this is like, <laughs> talk about trying to sell a book. All right, here we go. I've got a winner. I've got a winner. Um, Denise Petillo is the Mystery 101 bundle winner. Denise Petillo, P-E-T-I-L-L-O. We know Denise. Denise. 
she just won the Mystery 101 bundle. And that includes a signed Travis Burke photo, Mystery 101 DV set, Romance <laughs> University Mystery Mode merch, mug, Palaha, Panda Candle, uh, Amy Travis 4x4 painting with frame, and some uh, Mystery 101 themed stickers. Okay. Let's go to the um, where the sun um, rises. This is the, has bundle. the gift card that Anna donated in this one. So <laughs> thank you, Anna. This will pay for some books. I'll, okay, more so shoes. I'm gonna, but okay. <laughs> Here we go. I got a winner. It's Kristen Parker. Kristen Parker is the winner of the Where the Sun Rises bundle. Boom. Kristen Congrats. Parker, congratulations. Okay. okay, we've got four winners on the table. <laughs> We're gonna go into the Chris bundle. Now, okay, well, it's got, well, um, I know Brenda's putting it in the chat for people to see, but it's also, it's got um, both the scripts, the one for Buried in Barstow, as well as Rizzoli and Isles scripts in there. Um, picture. Oh, right. Um, Brenda, help me out. <laughs> she's, I know she's copying things here. So, so the Chris bundle should be considered sure. the Angie Harmon bundle. Well, it's, it's mostly, two, it's also got DVDs two. of just some of your other movies too, like Where Hope Grows and Run the Race are in there as well. So it's just kind of like a. So, are you guys going to bring? Oh, yeah. Are you guys yeah. going to bring that? We'll, to we'll have it all. Like, all um, Stephanie had the DVDs sent to me, so I already have those. So I'll bring those. So and then you have the scripts, obviously. But yeah, yeah we'll bring it all. So. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. Um, all right, you guys, here we go. Here is the, this is the Chris bundle. Okay, ready? It does not include me, but there's a lot of stuff that it includes. Um, Judy Schultz. Judy Schultz is the winner. Yay, bah, 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 bah. Way to go. Okay, guys, I'm sorry for the people who were hoping to win and who are not winning. I know that it's, it's high anxiety. We're coming down to the end, guys. We've got five winners on the table. Um, this is the social media buzz drawing. So six names are going to be drawn. And, and then one of the six, the first or the last name, will yeah, also you want to receive be, an The first name you book. draw or do you is want it to be right? the last name you draw gets that picture as well? Okay, guys, in your in your comment section, write the word <laughs> first or last, and whatever I see, whatever I see will get called. Um, good cause, good reason. Thank you. Um, so, should the winner be the first name I draw or the last name that I draw? First, Dale calls it. It's the first name I draw. Okay. So guys, this is for the social media buzz drawing. This is for people who were, are these people, were these people yeah, it was like for prolific in People who posted media it on their own like, uh, personal social media and just to help spread the word. So, and this is, they get, um, so the okay. first one, name you draw gets the tr uh, autograph picture and then the other ones get um, the book. Well, everybody will get book plates and bookmarks. Okay, so the first person is Laura mm -hmm. Barron. Laura Barron. Congratulations, Laura. You are the first person yeah. and you will receive a book plate and an autograph picture. Okay, so Laura, and then we're, we're going to do five more. Thanks, names, I know. Brendan, right? yeah, no, yeah, just go for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So six names. Are we, uh, Brenda, are we, sure? oh, Brenda, we're good, right? Because I've got Zoom. Yeah. Okay. You're good. You're good. Okay, ready? So I got a name. Tracy <laughs> Dalton. Tracy Dalton is our winner. Um, I uh, lost the. Who was the Laura first winner? Baron. Yeah, keep her. Keep her name because I. She, I just. Did I'm writing them all down right, right now, so I have them all. Her little names. So yeah. You, you got a record. Okay, so here's our third. Our third winner is now. Wait a minute. Okay, 
I'm oh, Tracy so that, Dalton again. Yeah, she only gets so yeah, she only can once. do it once. Okay. Let's <laughs> see. You ready? Here we go. Oh my gosh. I think there's a lot of double. Well, names Trace, Tracy did a lot of social media buzz, so she had like yeah. Okay. Because Laura Barron, and maybe, and maybe that's where Lauren's name was, but I got Laura Barron. Uh, okay, let's see. We got name number three, Tracy Dalton again. It's Tracy. This one is okay. Judy Melson. Judy, hey, Judy. Melson. Boom. Way to go, Judy. Okay, so that's what uh, that's on four. three. Laura, Tracy, and Judy. So then, what? Two more, I think. Three more. Okay, so Naomi. Okay. Naomi Peterson. Naomi, congratulations, girl. Okay, so that's four and five. Is Sarah Elliott? Congratulations, Sarah. Boom, Sarah Elliott. And the last name. The last name is, oh my gosh, all the way down Sing in Australia. <laughs> Samantha Gretch. Sam, <laughs> Sam. There you go. Okay. Guys, that is the Social Media Buzz Award. Um Okay, now explain to me, guys. Okay, well, do you want to also zoom. do you want to tell them who so, the top? Because we haven't released the top ten yet, and then the random zoom is just a random winner who will get in on the zoom as well. So, okay, so <laughs> we're gonna do a zoom call. Anna, you're gonna be on the zoom call with me, sure. right? <laughs> is that a okay? We're we're doing a okay. zoom call, Anna, at some point in the near future, um, and we've got ten winners. Now these 10 winners are the people who bought the most yes, that was books. Great. Now I'm going to say there's a caveat here because there's a woman named Marianne who has not been mm -hmm. submitting her receipts. Who's bought like, I don't know. I tried know how many to get her to submit bought. them, but she said she didn't want to. So I don't know. So. Yeah. so I'm giving her some public acknowledgement because Marianne, I appreciate you. I know there's a lot of people out there that'll be like, well, wait a minute. I bought books and I didn't submit either. And just thank you to all of you. But I know that Marianne, has bought okay. a, a lot of books and she's been giving friends and in fact received a, an email today or a, a DM today that I was able to read uh, about how well the woman liked the book that she got. She was, she was given the book as a gift and she read it and she was like really taken back by the, the actual cover and how pretty the pages were, but also the story itself. And she's like, it's a really surprising romance. So thank you for that. Now for the winners that did, submit receipts we've got the top 10 and is the list is so is the first person like the yes. one who bought the most books? yeah do it. yeah okay okay peterson and i spelled i left the sun off it's peterson yeah yes it's peterson right i knew that too naomi peterson so she also yeah. won the social media i mean yes yeah. she's a <laughs> why not because she's been yeah she's been going crazy i love naomi peterson Thank you. you're the first winner Congratulations. We know. Yeah, she, she had she up to third. I have it all in front of me. Give me one second. She had 32. Yeah, 32 is how many she was at. Oh, 40, 40. Sorry, she had 40. Amazing? She had 40. I was looking at the wrong number, 40. Oh, my God. Sorry, I don't want to short change her any. For, sorry, amazing. Naomi, 40. 40 books. Okay. Larissa yeah. Jackman yep. is our. She had 27. Tracy Dalton, okay. Twenty. Tracy Dalton is our third place winner. Carrie, uh, mm -hmm. Karen Grant is our fourth place. Uh, Denise Patillo. Now Denise, yeah, also won the Mystery One Hundred One bundle. So she, yep, she, she that paid off. There you go. Uh, Tracy Rucka. Tracy yeah, she's Argus the one who gave you that quilt right? in Chicago too. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Tracy, yeah, I'm looking at it right here. That's amazing. I love it. All right, Anne Harrison. Thanks. Mom, will you do me a huge? 
my mom's watching the show live. There's a red cord. Will you find it real quick for me? And I'll grab it so we don't, <laughs> the phone doesn't die. It's either on the steps or I took it up to the room. Um, all right. Mimi Palmer. Mimi Palmer. Yay. Mimi Palmer is our number seven. Dale, uh, Dale Lavery, L-A-V-E-R-Y. Yeah, Dale, she's, uh, Mimi Dale was Lavery. number eight, Dale's number nine. Lavery. Yeah. Thank you, Dale. The nine, right, you're right. You're right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then our 10th winner is Sherry Prim. Sherry Prim. Now, I have a question for you. Um, oh, you're awesome, Mom. Thank you. Um, my mom is gonna. My mom's gonna help me out. Here, I'll take this end. Oh, you got it. Okay, thanks, Mom. <laughs> They're in town. My mom and dad are in town, and my mom is literally just chilling out, watching this live. She's watching the live live. Hi. Hi. Okay, guys. This is the Zoom. This is a random Zoom winner. So the top 10 will okay. be the Zoom plus this one random Zoom. Yes, and the random is every single person who bought a book was entered to win, um, get just a chance at the Zoom. You guys are. <laughs> so I'll tell you, like, they crushed it in a way that I, I never would have been able to do this on my own. Um, Sandra Kernbauer. Sandra Kernbauer. All right. Boom. Random Zoom winner. Okay, guys. Now, the artwork bundle, is that just um, for it's the artwork? Got, well, yeah, pretty much that's the main thing. There was um, like an, uh, Brenda, put that in the comments. What else was there? Um, I have it in front of me. I just got it. Okay, so that way, yeah. Your art, and then has the Wear the Sunrises t-shirt, and then some stickers that Sarah designed some really cool stickers, the one who did your um, Palaha Chautauqua stickers for it, too. Okay, so here's all of the names. These we are all the names, okay? Stickers? Look, look, mess this up, Mom. I'm gonna let you pick it. You just put your little hand in this bag. Here, put your little hand in this bag, go ahead. Let the people see around. Make a make a show of it. And just pick a name, any name, any name will do. Do you get it? Okay. Boom, Larissa wow. Jockman. <laughs> Larissa Jockman, and she kind of bought a lot of books, and so in a in a cool way, this I know. Is, I this was intrigued nice by that one because both to, uh, Naomi and Larissa put like all their entries into that bundle. So I was like, oh my gosh, somebody's gonna like miss out. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All right, Larissa, there we go. Naomi, uh, I'm sure that I'm sure that I'm sure that all sorts of wonderful things uh, can happen. Uh, if you stick around the plaza, yeah. talk a long enough wonderful things do happen. So that's it, Yay. guys. Congrats. Yeah. Congratulations, Congratulations, everybody. Do you want to list the winners? Oh, um, yeah, I can. I have it written down. Let's see. So random Zoom was Sandra Kernbauer. The social media buzz for the Travis photo was Laura Barron. Social media buzz winners was Laura, yeah. Tracy Dalton, Judy Melson, Naomi Peterson, Sarah Elliott, and Sam Samantha Gretsch. The Where the Sun Rises bundle was Kristen yeah. Parker. The Mystery 101 bundle was Denise uh, Petito. I don't know how to say her name, Petito. Yeah. 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 Moments Arkansas. like this bundle was Carrie Brown. The Shift bundle was Ashley, and I did not get her. I know who which Ashley it is, but I did not get her last name all the way written down. But yeah. Ashley P. It's Ter okay. It's uh, it's Pertocha. Okay. T E R. Okay. I'll give it to you. E E R T O C H A. Okay. And then the the Chris okay. bundle was Judy Schultz, and then the artwork bundle was Larissa Jackman. There we go. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. 
if we can't bring uh, one more person on. Uh, um, do, 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 do. All right. Carrie Brown. <laughs> She's a winner. Naomi says she shouldn't be a part of the promo, but thanks. No, Naomi, you went above and beyond. Uh, you deserve to be a part of everything. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie, you're out there it's, with your horse. Is it a uh, horse I have too a many donkeys. <laughs> Two of them. So there's one, and there's my, my other. <laughs> there. All right. Do I have the right? Do I have the right? I, are, are I there's two Carrie Browns, so I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I, do we have the right Carrie Brown? I sure hope so. I mean, did you in, in Carrie? Did you enter yeah. for the yeah. moments like this bundle? Oh, I didn't specify which bundle I wanted. Oh. Yeah, anybody who didn't specify, we put in to we randomly put into whichever ones had the fewest. So yeah, that was that should be you. That's me then. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Now there's some Carrie. Father awesome. Carrie Brown out um, there who where, probably thinks that she's the winner too, though. <laughs> I know. Um, I'm in Ohio. Carrie. Yeah. Oh, Ohio, and you know the you know the riddle for Ohio, uh, uh, right? No, I don't think so. It's okay. So a friend of mine taught me this oh, song in college. Goes, miss, What's yeah. round on the end? High and low, but there we go. Cute little yeah. riddle. You can find it on a map if you search high and low. What's round on the ends and high in the middle? Oh, H yeah. I O. Oh. Go Bucks. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. Thank um, you. Um, Thank Karen, you so much. Congratulations. I'm gonna I'm gonna say goodbye to you. Um. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, I just said goodbye to Kelly. Sorry, Kelly. All right. Um, Kelly, Bye. I'm saying goodbye to you. You see. Bye. Kelly, sorry. Kelly, thank you. And Anna. Um, yeah, you too. You lovely too. to see you. <laughs> no. Thanks for being a part of the circus. <laughs> and I really appreciate everyone who's really with us. It's, it's been amazing. It's, it's, thank you. Yeah. 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 Amazing, right? So, it's a, yeah, it's really, it's, it's completely, uh, it is overwhelming. It really, and we have, we have, we have yeah. three more books, six, guys. Six, so six. stick around. <laughs> like an embarrassment of riches. Thank you. Um, all right, girl. Take care. Good to see you. All right. And then everybody, um, I know you guys are buying books like crazy and so you're already exhausted, but it's a wonderful book. And the first one takes you around the world. And then, and then it gets, it drops in on a level that surprisingly was shocking. Um, I'm really proud of Anna for her work on My Goodbye Girl. So say hello to My Goodbye Girl everywhere the books are sold. Um, guys, I feel so like sad that the, the whole thing is over. Um, what is the recommendations? Zoom, Zoom, Chris, Zoom winner for recommendations. What is that? Can you tell me what that is? Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you on. Hold on. Because I did see that and didn't understand what it was. So I think there's one, <laughs> one more winner. Hello. Hi. I'm gonna flip you. I never know how to flip you. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. There I am. Hi. Thank you so much for all of your hard work. You were amazing and are amazing. And again, you, Kelly and Stephanie, were unbelievably just generous with your time and your You're energy. You're welcome. I'm so grateful. Thank you. It was fun. <laughs> You're like, it's easy. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah. the recommendation winner. We have another we Zoom have, winner. We have another winner. And that was okay. the person okay, who had so the most book purchases based on their recommendation which was Aiden Harmson. This is <laughs> Aiden Harmson. I have her right here. That's amazing. So she yep. recommended the book the most. Do we know how many people she got to buy it? Uh, on offhand. Two. <laughs> You're like, two. One, <laughs> two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four, two, three. four or five. Yeah. Four, uh, Tr five. There Tracy Dalton go. actually had takes. even more, but she already had one by, by virtue of <laughs> buying books. <laughs> right, right. That's awesome. That's amazing. Again, um, everybody, I am, I am just blown asunder by how amazing you guys are. Uh, and how incredible this little challenge was. It was fun. I hope you enjoyed the readings. We're gonna work on getting the audio book out this year. Um, again, book three is in the pipeline and will be available next year. And then we're gonna do book four and book five to wrap up the series. But um, yeah. yeah, what a cool thing. What a cool thing. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Um, all right, I'm gonna bye. say bye. Uh, yeah. but I'll see you in Kansas yep. City in a few days, right? Okay. Bye. I'll see you soon then. Bye. And, uh, um, all right, everybody. Thank you for joining me on this 100th episode of the Palaha Chautauqua. Um, what this means is I'm going on hiatus for the summer. I'm going to bail on social media for a while because, you know, it takes a lot of energy to jump online and, and, um, and uh, that energy is sometimes better better spent with family or um you know it's it, it really um yeah i need a vacation my mom's like you need a vacation i need a vacation um and uh i think it's uh, we can talk about this in the fall but um i think that our relationship with social media borders on uh, a human's relationship with tobacco or alcohol or anything else that in moderation is deeply enjoyable, but when you push into it too hard or too much or overindulge, it can become quite dangerous. And uh, there's something that I've always done, which is just taking a social media break. Even when I was just on Twitter, I would do my haikus for a year and then I would just jump, I would just go away. It gets harder because of the relationships that I've developed because now it feels like there's friendships that I'm just like bailing on. Um, so please don't feel abandoned. I'm not bailing. Um, it's not a deprioritization of any sort in regards of heart, mind or spirit. It's literally just for uh, my own sort of health and, and just kind of taking a step back I'm going to not be the guy with my phone in my hand of those posts. It's amazing how long all of the texts, um, which is again, why I bailed on the DMing because I, I could get, I could go down this rabbit hole of responding to people and, um, and I'm truly missing, you know, things that are right in front of me. Um, and so in an effort to, to counter that, but I do love the Chautauqua and I will be back. Um, and I am going to sort of do a, my first version of a Chautauqua Live in Kansas City next week. So this is the formal announcement. If you're in Kansas City on Friday, it's Friday the 9th? Tuesday the 6th. Uh-huh. Right. So Friday the 9th from 8 o'clock until 10 to 10.30, there's going to be a live Chautauqua, and I'm going to feature uh, Caleb Palaha. My son is going to play a set well, I think we've got this beautiful venue set up right now. Um, it's going to be a hundred bucks to enter. If you are a subscriber, there will be a discount on that price for being a subscriber. But I have to have seen that you were. You can't just become a subscriber. It's got to be, you know, I'll, I'll know who you are. Um, and um, and uh, uh, it's going to be a good two hour, a lot more intimate. If you're in Kansas City you're watching this show because you like me and you're gonna be there and you want like sort of two hours of one-on-one -on -one time versus the quick photo or a quick autograph or whatever that is, um, that's what this would be. So for a hundred dollars, you come on in, uh, I will host, Caleb's gonna play and then we'll do like a Q and A, I'll tell some stories, but then I also love in the spirit of Chautauqua to have you guys come up on stage. And if you wanna sing, you can, if you wanna tell a story, you can, um, it'll be sort of my one last hurrah before the summer kicks in. Uh, I don't think it's going to be taped. I don't think it's going to be live. I think it's going to be just a, I mean, I'm live, but I mean, I mean by that, uh, live on the Chautauqua, I think it's just going to be a, in the moment, like a theater, like a, like a night thing. Um, 
Um, yeah. So that, that's what that's going to be. Sorry for those of you who miss it, but there's going to be one. I'll do one of these in New York in January. Um, and then at some point, I'd love to take the Chautauqua on the road as it, as it matures. And so hopefully I'll be coming to a city near you. Um, and then there's also going to be a subscribers, not lunch, but like I'll, instead of going to lunch for, for that hour, we'll find a place to chill and just uh, hang out and uh, chat during the either Friday or Saturday. Um, all right, guys. So that's it. I'm going to, I'm going to wrap you all. I'm going to, I'm going to say goodbye with a song. I'm going to end the hundredth the hundredth episode with a little a little re encore of the ditty <clears throat> life can be scary and sometimes hard like you got a winning hand and then you built the wrong card it ain't fair but you're not alone you're down and out and you're high and dry in the darkest valley on the coldest night you're fine you're not alone Song. How crazy is that? summer. I will see you in the fall. Bye-bye.